the Climate Science Center has had in some way or another their own training or means to bring together the early career scientists and the young researchers. And the staff and all the centers asked how can we learn from each other or maybe we can combine efforts. Um, why don't we do a national uh, level effort? We saw that there were some topics and themes and theories that are not necessarily new and emerging, but we're really starting to resonate with people, uh, namely the co-production of knowledge in our field of uh, collecting information and research that can be applied and made actionable um, by people who are actually making decisions or uh, affecting change on the ground. Um, the other topic was really communicating our science. We wanted to have that permeate through everything else that we did um, over the two days. I work at Fort Bragg. Uh, it's an army base in North Carolina, and I study rare and endangered butterflies there. Um, I work with land managers on a military base, and so they're going to use um, the outputs of my research uh, to inform their conservation priorities um, and to try to manage wildlife and manage landscapes in a future world. feel our problems are often unique, um, like as somebody who lives and works in Alaska, we think we're really special, but the, the, the issues that face Alaska are many of the same issues that face many other regions of the country, and it's been great to come here and to see how other people are learning about these issues and, and the solutions that they have to, to, to deal with them and how we can all kind of share what we've been learning in all of our, our different regions. I'm really happy for the training because not only does it indicate that the Climate Science Center network is invested in us as grad students and postdocs, um, invested us in terms of doing our research and completing our thesis, dissertation, um, but they're also invested in us becoming the next generation of climate scientists, um, stewards of uh, research and climate change and stewards of communicating um, climate change and the type of research that we're doing. Being as I am towards getting closer to the end of my career, uh, it is really refreshing to get to interact with you know, uh, younger folks uh, trying to figure out what it all means, uh, how can they you know, make their own footprint, leave a legacy and, and be part of, of the larger effort. So it's, uh, it's very stimulating to see that, very uh, uh, refreshing, rewarding. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really a great feeling to be able to convey to them uh, how did we get here? What are we trying to do? Uh, what, you know, what, is the, what are the questions we're trying to uh, help answer or address? Uh, and how do we do what we do? think of it uh, at the moment. Oh, I forgot the question. <laughs> oh, look at you. Okay, so don't look at the camera. All right, just look at you. All right. Just whenever you're ready. I guess I'm really... Actually, can you just say something? Say something? Hmm. It's all interesting. Is there anything else you want to you say? Like anything you found uh, surprising, maybe? No. Did I give you what you needed? Huh? Did I give you what you needed? Yeah, yeah, yeah? that's great. Yeah. All right, cool.